Well, I'm very surprised and very pleased to be voted number three on the most influential list, and partly because I suppose in my work I don't feel very influential at all. I'm interested in evidence-based practice and evidence-based practice in human resource management as well as other areas of management, so I'm quite uh, surprised I kind of got there because so, I don't feel very influential, but it's great I have, and I hope actually the fact I've been named number three on this list now may make people pay a bit more attention to the idea of evidence-based practice, not to me so much, but to the idea of practice, yeah. So essentially evidence-based practice is an idea that's come from other areas of practice, including medicine, policing, policy making, social work, education and so on, that says when you make a decision, you should try and combine different sources of evidence together to make the best decision you can after critically appraising that evidence. It seems to me in HR, it's a bit kind of stuck. It seems to follow a lot of fads. It seems to be out for doing the most popular things, for quick wins and so on, which is, is almost the antithesis of evidence-based practice. So I really hope people start paying more attention to that. And also to the Centre for Evidence-Based Management, uh, which is the acronym is SEBMA, and I think it's very important because it's trying to sort of, I guess, educate and show to both practitioners and to academics the value of taking an evidence-based approach to management in general. I think the main way HR can increase its level of influence in a business is to actually start to think more about the metrics, the data and so on it's using. And I think HR has got much better at using internal data, internal metrics. Where I think it's missing out is on the external stuff. So quite often I hear HR people talking about engagement or satisfaction and so they've got all these measures and I keep saying, but what is the evidence that engagement really matters? And then they fall apart. They actually don't know. So it's great to measure stuff, it's great to assess stuff, it's great to look at links. But unless you have really good internal evidence, academic evidence, and indeed theory that says how these things link together, I think it doesn't help. And the more HR can do that, the more influence I think it will have in organisations. When I was speaking to an HR director fairly recently, they actually said to me, yeah, we will become more evidence-based if marketing does the same. And I think that's the point. The point is I think many functions in management, including HR, should really think about the way they make decisions and what they do and base it on the best available evidence.